This prophetic encouragement was curated for November 13, 2024. Repository by published on November 11, 2024. I couldn't sleep, so was praying over a variety of people and situations, and I heard this word. The temperament of a man or woman who walks in the light can only come into alignment with my will when they are freed from their lifetime of sin and the entrapments of the enemy in their soul. Religious persons do not give the grace to others that they give themselves, as they are bound by religious spirits aligned with Leviathan. Ordinarily, people give a lot of space to those still broken and needing healing to make mistakes, because they recognize from whence they have come themselves. They know no one is perfect, and sanctification is a process that sometimes in this era takes years and decades to undo the baggage people are carrying due to abuse, neglect, rejection, and all. The river of God flowing from my throne is about to overflow with a tsunami of my love that will break every stronghold the enemy has encapsulated around the souls of my people. Long-standing chains of rejection and its consequent rebellion at being made to feel less than will be extinguished from the lives of my loved ones if they will accept this love. You might think, who wouldn't accept love? But there are those so entrapped that Leviathan's hold has bound them to stubbornness into thinking they are too unworthy to receive anything good. This means it would take a jackhammer to penetrate this wall of stubborn defensive pride around them. You cannot in your strength do anything apart from me. But know that I am as able to destroy it with a touch. Don't think that there is anything I cannot do. I turned Saul to Paul in a moment and a few days, and he went on to be my scribe and apostle to the Gentiles, working signs and wonders to heathen nations that used to sacrifice children to their gods. Thus, by the blood of my son anyone can be transformed by my mighty grace. So leave your opinions in the garbage dump and expect to be greatly confounded as Ananias was, to go to Saul knowing his murderous ways and the religious spirit on him. I will anoint and appoint many in this hour that are thought of with great disdain. I will increase anointing and appoint many who the church thought to be flotsam and jetsam, to be thrown out, for many have suffered at the hands of the impatient and selfish within the church, as well as the world. Many spectacular surprises are coming as my spirit is poured out. I will make many of you my repositories of grace and abundant love, who will startle the globe with my power, grace, and merciful kindness. You who have been walking in my grace and power for decades will even be shocked at what I do in this hour of glorious power. So let go, repent of, kick out every opinion you have had that could keep you from loving the unlovable. Forgive from your hearts, not just from your minds, by asking for conviction from my Holy Spirit, who is your comforter. Seek my face for my opinion on every person who comes your way. There will be those who come with evil purposes, but only I know what is in the heart of a man or woman, boy or girl. Let me be the judge, and a just one, that I am. Let me be the head of my church. Here's more information to process this word. Temperament, a dot characteristic or habitual inclination or mode of emotional response, a nervous temperament, b dot extremely high sensibility, especially excessive sensitiveness or irritability, c dot the peculiar or distinguishing mental or physical character determined by the relative proportions of the humors according to medieval physiology. Webster's Repository, a place, room, or container where something is deposited or stored. Depository, a side altar in a Roman Catholic church where the consecrated host is reserved from Monday Thursday until Good Friday, one that contains or stores something non-material considered the book a repository of knowledge, a place or region richly supplied with a natural resource, a person to whom something is confided or entrusted. Webster's Repository, a place where things are stored and can be found, a person who has, or a book that contains, a lot of information or detailed knowledge. Cambridge. Here are some verses for this word. Acts 9 verses 1 to 22 from the Amplified Bible. The Conversion of Saul. 
now Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord and relentless in his search for believers, went to the high priest, and he asked for letters of authority from him to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any men or women there belonging to the way believers, followers of Jesus the Messiah, men and women alike, he could arrest them and bring them bound with chains to Jerusalem. As he traveled, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him displaying the glory and majesty of Christ. And he fell to the ground and heard a voice from heaven saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting and oppressing me? And Saul said, Who are you, Lord? And he answered, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting, now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him were terrified and stood speechless, hearing the voice, but seeing no one. Saul got up from the ground, but though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And he was unable to see for three days, and he neither ate nor drank. Now in Damascus there was a disciple named Ananias. And the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias. And he answered, Here I am, Lord. And the Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. For he is praying there, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come in and place his hands on him, so that he may regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many people about this man, especially how much suffering and evil he has brought on your saints God's people at Jerusalem. And here in Damascus he has authority from the high priests to put in chains all who call on your name confessing you as Savior. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a deliberately chosen instrument of mine to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the sons of Israel. For I will make clear to him how much he must suffer and endure for my name's sake. So Ananias left and entered the house, and he laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you came to Damascus, has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit in order to proclaim Christ to both Jews and Gentiles. Immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he regained his sight. Then he got up and was baptized. And he took some food and was strengthened. Saul begins to preach Christ. For several days afterward, Saul remained with the disciples who were at Damascus. And immediately he began proclaiming Jesus in the synagogues, saying, This man is the Son of God, the promised Messiah. All those who heard him continued to be amazed and said, Is this not the man who in Jerusalem attacked those who called on this name of Jesus? and had come here to Damascus for the express purpose of bringing them bound with chains before the chief priests? But Saul increased in strength more and more, and continued to perplex the Jews who lived in Damascus by examining theological evidence and proving with Scripture that this Jesus is the Christ the Messiah, the Anointed. Here's the Pray Along video for this word. Heavenly Father, Thank you for the grace you extend, even to those who are often overlooked and dismissed. I recognize that you see value where others may see none, and I pray for the courage to embrace those who have suffered and been hurt by the impatience of the world and the Church. Father, I ask that your Spirit be poured out in abundance, filling me with the grace and love needed to be a repository of your mercy. Help me to be a vessel of your power, surprising those around me with the depth of your kindness. I seek your face and your opinion, not only for myself, but for every person that crosses my path. Grant me the ability to forgive from my heart, letting go of judgments and opinions that hinder my capacity to love unconditionally. Remind me that only you know the true intentions of the heart. Help me to look beyond outward appearances and to see the potential for transformation in everyone. May I always remember that you are the head of the church and the ultimate judge. I trust in your justness and your divine wisdom. As I move forward, may I be filled with your spirit, ready to embrace those whom others may choose to overlook. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. To support the prophetic voice featured in this video, 
please check and follow the links in the description box below. For more words of encouragement from the heart of the Heavenly Father, please check out the Prophetic Encouragement playlist.